Greg Nibbler with Digital Trends here at CES 2018 out in the North Hall with our continuing coverage. And I'm standing here right now with an award winner, Kashik Muda, who is with Ethereal Machines. And so, uh, A, congratulations on the award. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, why don't we talk about what it is that we're looking at? So I know it's 3D printing, but you have kind of coined it as 5D printing. So what is, makes that difference? All right, so what this is, is a hybrid manufacturing machine capable of both subtractive manufacturing and 3D printing as well. But 3D printing on a whole new level. The regular 3D printers operate on just three axes, X, Y, and Z. What we've done is we've added two additional axes to it, our translational axis and a rotatory axis as well. So that's why we call it five axis 3D printing. Uh, so, so how exactly does that work? Like, how did you come to that uh, that creation? All right. So it took us a year and a half to just uh, arrive at you know how to figure this out, and it took us a year and a half. So I'll tell you, uh, I can explain it with this. That's very easy. So in a regular printer, making something like this you would have to add support structures over here so that this can be built. Because it's, it's all got to be layered. Yes, exactly, right? This can't, this can't print in thin air. This, there's nothing to support this, so you'll have to build something over here. Whereas in my machine, what happens is you build the cylinder right first, and then once that is done, the entire build plate swivels. So that gives me access to this particular area, and I can start building this particular fin that you see over here. Once this fin is done, it rotates. Wow. And once it rotates, I can build this fin. So imagine making structures, you know, uh, without any support materials and the kind of finish that you get with these kind of uh, five axis or five axis 3D printing. That's something which the world has never seen. And this is the first of its kind in the world. That is absolutely amazing. So what kind of uh, material can you use with this? So you could use all the plastics all the way up till nylon. So the machine is capable of printing materials up to 350 degrees centigrade. So that gives you a plethora of materials to choose from to print. And how big can you print? Uh, we have a build volume of 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm. Okay. So uh, that's a, that's a sizable amount, uh, sizable amount enough to go for a print. Now, so um, who are you marketing this towards? Is this going to be something that a consumer can go out and purchase, or is it more for like an industrial uh, uses? So this this goes for both sides. The prosumer, uh, that's what uh, that's how we call it, a professional consumer. Prosumers are showing a lot of interest in this product because they are tired with removing support uh, support materials by hand. They are tired of not being able to print things uh, in a very complex manner and then again there's the industrial or the business sides as well a lot of SMEs have been talking to us uh, from the automobile sector from the jewelry sector um, uh, a little bit on the defense end as well so um, is this out of the market right now we just launched this a month ago so we've, we are here at CES just to sell this in fact <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. So where would somebody go to find out more information about this? You could visit our website, uh, etherealmachines.com, or you could simply Google uh, the Ethereal Halo, and we're going to show up there. But this is really cool. 5D printing, congratulations, best of innovation at CES 2018. That's such an accomplishment. And again, these are the cool things that we get to see here with our Digital Trends coverage. So keep following us, digitaltrends.com slash CES. Mm -hmm.